Hey everybody, Keith K here and welcome to my series of tutorials on Star Sand, the new desert survival game that I am really excited is finally out. Um, I've been looking forward to this t uh, since the uh, demo uh, review video that I put together several months ago and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to check this out yourself. Um, these tutorials will help you uh, survive in the, uh, the depths of the desert. Uh, the game is definitely challenging. Uh, you have to cross vast distances of the desert and uh, survive the elements. Make sure that you're fed and watered and uh, armed and armored. Um, and I'm hoping that these tutorials will help you get started and uh, help you survive. And if you'd like to be notified when new tutorials drop for this uh, series, please do subscribe. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this game as much as I do. With that, let's get into today's tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at the campfire. The campfire will be one of the first things that you craft. It will both keep you warm in the desert night as well as cook your food, which is obviously pretty important for surviving. And you'll need two stones and two and four sticks, excuse me. You can find stones and sticks um, really on the ground as you come to a new oasis. If you look around, you'll be able to find some that you can pick up. Uh, you can also cut down some of the smaller um, smaller shrubs that will give you sticks. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can uh, take one of the logs, if you chop any of the trees down, and cut that into sticks as well. So once you've got those resources ready, you're gonna press C to access your crafting menu. Select campfire, make sure you've got what you need, and click craft and then it'll just uh, take some time to craft. It'll place that in your inventory, either up here, or if you have an open slot on your hot bar, it'll come down here once it's ready. Okay, now we can see that our campfire has been crafted. We're just gonna select that uh, and make sure we really, oh, that's an invalid spot, yeah. You're, you'll see that when you craft anything, there'll be valid and invalid placement. You can also use your arrow keys uh, to adjust the positioning and then left click to place it. So to interact with our campfire, uh, we're just going to point at it until the uh, this little menu comes up and you press E to open. All right, and so to cook anything, you're going to grab the raw food. In this case, we've got meat, um, but there are some other recipes that you can cook once you unlock them. Uh, and you're just going to left click and hold and drag it down and then release it once you're over the, the food container here. Uh, same thing with your fuel, whether it's the logs or the sticks. We'll just grab the logs. And you'll see that there'll be a progress bar uh, that begins to count down to when that food is cooked. You can swap out your fuel source in the middle and you don't lose progress, which is nice. Um, we'll come back once this is ready. All right, and we can see that we've got some cooked food uh, completed and you can just right click on that to remove it. And now we can uh, eat that without worry of uh, getting sick. Um, and that'll give us 30 to 35 uh, refill on our hunger here. The other thing of note is that the wood will convert uh, as it burns into coal. And you're gonna wanna hang on to these. Uh, you won't have a use for them right away, but once you've got a farm plot built, you can use it for fertilizer. It's also a key component in the gunpowder recipe, which you have to unlock, uh, and we'll cover that uh, later in another tutorial. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you got something out of it, helps you survive the desert. If you did, please give the video a like, and hopefully we'll see you back here soon. Thanks everybody for all the support. 